Ladies and gentlemen, today I am gonna present you the mechanism of iron metabolism. First of all with the introduction video. First, let's talk about iron importance in body. Iron is an essential component of oxygen transportation and storage as it enters in synthesis of hemoglobin and many redox enzymes. Also, it enters in production of various metabolic intermediates and act as a host defense. Stages and content Iron present in body in very limited amount as it present only 5 to 6 mg distributed as following. Hemoglobin present 65%. 30% found in liver and spleen. 4% found in myoglobin and the rest are consumed by other cells. The other cells consume only 400 mg of iron and can be enumerated should be intestine, liver, bone marrow and reticuloendothelial system. For stages. Iron is transported to intestine where it is absorbed. Then iron is carried to bone marrow where it can enter in synthesis of red blood cells. Only a small amount of iron lost and the rest is reabsorbed and reuse again. Each stage will be demonstrated individually. Iron absorption is affected by physiological and pathological factors. An increase in case of anemia. Hypoxia. Decrease in iron stores and increase in erythropoietic activity. The major factor make a decrease in iron absorption is the inflammation. Important notes before we start illustrating the mechanism. First, transferrin is a plasma protein that is synthesized in liver and its function is to transport iron. The maximum saturation present in normal body is 35%. This limited saturation allow maintenance of normal blood viscosity. Second thing you have to know is that only 6 to 12 percent of the dietary iron intake is absorbed. You may wonder why. The answer for this mysterious aspect is the limited capacity for excretion of iron. So we can conclude that iron is regulated by absorption not by excretion, now with the first stage in absorption. Most of dietary iron is in ferric form until it reached the hydrochloric acid of the stomach then it transferred into ferrous form. After that, a protein called abotransferrin attached to the iron, and transformed into transferrin. Transferrin then headed to upper part of intestine which called duodenum, at this part the absorption of iron occur. At the lumen of the duodenum, duodenal ferric reductase transform iron into ferrous form to be absorbed by divalent metal transporter 1. Inside enterocyte. Iron has two fates. First fate, iron is transformed into ferric form and aggregate, in protein called ferritin. The second fate, iron cross to the other border, by ferroprotein or heme transporter. This iron is then transported by transferrin again to reach bone marrow where it is used to make hemoglobin. The absorption is facilitated by protein called pethistin. Caution. In blood, before iron bend to abotransferrin. It convert into ferric form by ferrooxidase. Here is an image illustrate the whole mechanism of iron absorption. Now let's talk about the protein that regulate iron absorption which called hypsidin. Its functional activity is binding to ferroprotein causing it to regulate cell absorption of iron. This image illustrate its function. An increase in iron absorption cause pathological condition called hemosiderin shown in the image. Now with a video, 